We are live from the Brojo for a Robro review. Oh my gosh, we just saw Black Panther. Ah. Why are you emphasizing the black so much? Oh man, I'm not. <laughs> we kind of were. I, I, I am not. Um, but I am Kian, and I am here with... Eli. I'm drinking Gatorade. I'm trying to get this last piece of brownie into my <clears throat> mouth. Man, just take it out of the package. Right. right. Okay, so we just saw Black Panther. And uh, what did, like, uh, well, uh, before before we get in, uh, we'll give a brief synopsis and we'll talk about the things we like without spoiling it, then we'll spoil the shit out of it. Spoilers. They don't need to know that. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll give them a brief synopsis first, okay, and then we'll spoil the shit out of it. Basically, look up the episode of Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy meets Catman. <laughs> T'Challa that's after the death of his father, the king Adam of Wakanda, Black Panther. returns Which one? home There's to... like six of them. True. <laughs> T'Challa, after the death of his father, the king of Wakanda, returns home to the isolated technology-advanced African nation of Wakanda to succeed the throne and take his rightful place as king. That's basically the synopsis, but there's a lot of shit. So, the director is Ryan Coogler, and the cast is Chadwick Boseman as uh, T'Challa, a.k.a. the Black Panther, Michael B. Jordan. Whoa, 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 it's 2018. The African American. Michael B. Jordan <laughs> as Eric Killmonger. Lupito Nyango as Nakia. They didn't even give him a last name. It was just Killmonger. <laughs> it's Eric Stevens. Oh, but okay. like, yeah. They just for whatever reason, even in the credits, they put Eric, Eric Killmonger. Killmonger. Well, because in the comics he was called Killmonger. That was his last name. Yeah, his last name was Eric Killmonger. And nobody thought, well, this is probably going to be a guy that turns into a supervillain. <laughs> no, no, they did not. But, uh... Like, is Foresight not a thing? Nope. I love just, like, if he went to get any other jobs. Like, yeah, I'm Eric Killmonger, and I'm an accountant. (laughs) (laughs) Eric Killmonger. Architect. Yeah. Killmonger Foundations. Um, so... Eric Killmonger, PDA. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I This is actually, by far, um, up there as one of my favorite Marvel movies of all time. Like, yep. I legitimately enjoy the shit out of this movie. Like, from the look, from the feel, from the music, from, like, I like how, essentially, Wakanda is its own is its own character. Like, the city itself is its own piece, I guess. And my another favorite part is that, like, they initially say in the beginning of the uh, the movie that there there were five tribes that found this vibranium mine and like all the tribes are very different with their different things like their weapons like poncho shields poncho shields are the shit <laughs> it's just a cloak yes yeah, it's a poncho shield my, no. my thing with those is still it's like with that shield technology they could put a shield on the fucking black panther suit that he'd basically just be Master Chief. <laughs> basically, yeah. I like how that shield worked, though. Like, they were like, Whoa, a shield! I don't, because, like, if the wind whips your fucking cape around, then you just be like, shield on and off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! <laughs> we didn't think this through! Oh, gosh. Yeah, no. But I really I really like the story. I, like I said, it's just super pretty. He sounds like a five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> no, like on the real. Like I just, I. En- <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's a, it sounds very five-year-old for you to say. Damn, Damn man. Pretty. It is like okay. Like yeah, yes, it's aesthetically man. pleasing. It's very aesthetically pretty. Use pleasing. your adult words. Gills w- Wakanda roasting. is like, dude, but like for real, Wakanda is fucking cool looking. They do a good job. Like the architecture, Killmonger architecture, really did a good job. CGI <laughs> making those buildings. <laughs> Killmonger CGI. Yeah, Killmonger CGI. But uh, I, I just I love the characters too. I, I really like the side characters a lot. I think I think this is basically you don't need Black James Bond anymore when you got T'Challa. Basically being James Bond for like yeah. the first half of the movie, and like except not creepy and rapey. Not creepy, <laughs> kind of. Not, not really. really. No, he's not. He's like. He actually is consensual with the girl that he likes. They haven't they dated before. 
Yeah, and it, like like I said, this is this is a this like Captain America: Winter Soldier is a spy movie for the first part of it, and then it becomes kind of a Marvel movie at the end of it, like your typical Marvel movie. I don't really think it's a spy movie at the beginning. I think the first part kind of is, in a way, because they're trying to like collect. You mean the Korean part? Yeah. I mean, I guess, but it still like results in a fucking. Firefight. Yeah, a firefight, and then eventually a, a chase scene. There's keys of espionage in it. Fine, there. Is that, is that better? Oh, if someone else would like to take the reins, what else they like besides me? Please be my guest. No, you're not finished yet. I no, I am definitely finished. Well, speaking of the Caribbean part, I really liked that fight. Oh, cool. Tell me more. What about the fight, or just more in general? More in general. More, more in general. <clears throat> Oh, God. Um. I had things lined up, but now that you've thrown it to me, I'm all like, I don't know. You're just like, uh. uh I don't know. Like, I, uh, I really like the whole uh, tone of the movie, 24. to be honest. It's very tribal. <laughs> no. Fucking is with all the politics they do. And I like that they have all these politics part, because it's like, yeah, he's king, but he still has to listen to the fucking council. <laughs> but apparently they don't hold any sway, he just does what he wants anyway. I don't know. Well, he's like, I'm king, bitch. I think I mean, it's he more Michael say... <clears throat> Jordan saying I'm king, bitch. Okay, so he doesn't say bitch, but like... I'm really, like, the one thing I'm really glad is how they explained it, because I remember we talked about this in the trailer, how we were questioning how Michael B. Jordan had, like, a fucking street accent, and, yeah. like, everyone else was like, look. Yeah. And Michael B. Jordan's like, ah, oh, Wakanda's gonna burn. I, yeah, also, I don't get how he ever beat Black Panther in the original fight. <laughs> that doesn't seem to add up at all. Because he kept cutting him, and then he killed the other dude. Yeah, okay, so... He stabs him in the gut, and somehow that takes Black Panther out of the fight. He fought the other guy when he got stabbed, basically in the heart. So that, I don't get that one. But he, like, that was the only major wound in that fight, though. Comparatively, like, this fight... Okay, so this he fight got cut more, a couple other places. So this fight was more emotional. Like, I think T'Challa <clears throat> you, th- used his rage, like, was blinded more by his rage than he did against... He wasn't being very effective with his strikes. He I, was just lumbering I around. fucking guess either way, I don't know how he lost, because it's like... What the fuck was his name? Killmonger. Killmonger. <laughs> like... You know, he, he was Navy SEAL and all this stuff, and I was like, yeah, but I mean, he shouldn't really have any sword fighting experience. Unless he took classes, I guess. But he was poor, <laughs> so I feel like he probably didn't. <laughs> He's not that old, so it's not like he has a lot of time to do it. They're in their 30s. So? If he's a fucking Navy SEAL, he doesn't have time to be taking sword classes on the side. Also, he was dual wielding. That's not a real thing. People a, can't do that. He was a ba- he was a beta tester. <laughs> what are you saying? Fucking beta tester! <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah, no, it pissed you me piece off. Piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one explained that joke. Uh, <laughs> got a special ability. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, where'd you get Now the he's the black skill? knight. The dark or the warrior. black swordsman. Black swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> is what it was called. No, 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 no. Okay, so another thing. Another thing. Yeah. And another, the next one, Joe. Another thing that I do enjoy is that like they paint Wakanda to be like this like like they're like we're proud of our people, but not other black people kind of thing. And I really like how Killmonger points that out. I like that. I think that's very an understandable thing. They don't really yep. do that. They're just like, no. we want to keep our people a secret because we have all this stuff that could. I know, but them. like Black Panther, like <clears throat> the Wakandans have infiltrated ghettos and shit like that, and yeah. they clearly state that, and they do nothing, and like that pisses Killmonger off. Like I like that's another reason why Killmonger is. To me, essentially, a better villain than a lot of Marvel villains because his drive isn't like. Yeah, he wasn't really evil until they just made him a complete fucking asshole. Yeah. When he starts choking out old women and stuff, and then it's just like, oh, well, now he's kind of evil. But before that, it was just like, you know, all he wants to do is. All he wants to do is help 
people overthrow governments and anarchy, and I was like, yeah, I can get behind that. But once I mean, you start choking genocide. out... Once genocide. you started choking out... That's the one, that's what got you, is that he, like, started like slitting him. women's throats? Is that, like... I mean, he didn't slit their throats, really. He choked them. Other than he the choked one, the one who attacked them. And then he killed the Forrest heart. Whitaker. Yeah. I mean, I... Okay, to be fair, Forrest Whitaker's character was the reason why his dad died. Yeah. So, like, that's very... Unintentional. And also, Forrest Whitaker pretty much killed himself. Yeah, he asked for it. Okay, there's, like, one thing that really got me is that, like, this sounds super bad, but T'Challa, T'Challa, T'Challa's dad's lazy eye, I could not stop focusing (laughs) on it. I didn't even see that. I was like, God damn. I I did notice. I was was like... like, I was like, how is he the Black Panther? (laughs) Fucking... Ugh. I was just looking like, dang, dude. Uh, yeah. What'd you drink the belt black power thing? You my, are... my other thing, uh, they never mention it, really, is that, uh, like, he burns all the flowers. I Heart don't... shape herbs. Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> I There's still flowers. Yeah. Don't know why he did that, since that's technically the source of his power anyway. And then, you know, the one girl, she steals one, gives it to T'Challa, but then they just don't have any more, so he doesn't get to be superhuman after this, or maybe that'll I mean, be the... it stays with you, doesn't it? You have to drink Tec- it. Yeah, technically, this does stay with you. For it to go away. Like, in this canon, it looks like it oh. stays with you. Then unless you drink the other liquid. Why would they yeah. grow so many? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. For the next generation. For the next generation. Yeah, that's what they yeah. say, that it's for any other kings that come around. Either way, like, Not they'll have more. to... They'll have to do that to keep Black Panther right. going. I mean, like, I told you the generation. I mean, like, unless they could probably, like, I'm not saying they could, but, like, Wakanda seems advanced enough that they can fix a spinal cord to possibly siphon out the blood of, like, the heart shaped herb, because I'm assuming it goes into. drinking blood? No. <laughs> you drink it. It's just far cry primal. No, no, like, they grow, they, like, I, I'm assuming, assumably. The, the bloodstream absorbs it? Yeah. Well, in, yeah, in some sort of way, so they could things. possibly find like, I mean, and or you, they could take up all the crushed up plants that they have. Yeah, and from it's a previous sp- generation. And essentially, it's a spore. The way it looks, seems yeah. like, is like it travels and, yeah, through you. Like, like, that sounds weird. Like, sorry, science. No, I, I get what you're saying, but yeah, Gil could be right too. They might just have some crush up somewhere. In case of emergencies. Oh, gee, purple Kush. I do really like the technology of Wakanda, though. <laughs> it's it's super interesting like i love that train system that they have and like the way they move vibranium i like the ships i, w- I like the way the ships look i thought most of the sh- the ship that they were like driving around and that the cia guy pilots looks cool but the other ones the look flies. Reti- yeah those look dumb as shit really yeah they look like they could be in star wars Dragon they flies. look like straight up retarded imperial technology <laughs> from star wars he's right Really? Yes. I'm thinking more of the Republic agents. Like, did you see how they landed? They basically have to land on the side of the fucking, like, big-ass tunnel in the ground. Yeah. yeah. Which, you're talking about their technology. For all their fucking technology, they don't put up guard railings, because they're goddamn retarded. <laughs> Not even on the elevator they were coming up in, I don't think there were any. Nope. <laughs> it's like, ah, you'd think... Maybe. Well, I mean, if someone falls off, <coughs> that's their fault, not ours. So. Right, and like... <laughs> Whatever happened to all those people that fell off the side, by the way? Because during that whole fight sequence, they just started mowing down people oh, yeah, and into that pit. I kind of thought about it, and like, when uh, the two girls are like, running to join the fight, the one with like, the sonic fists, blasts two guys off immediately. Like, <laughs> and I was just like, man... They might not have even been enemies. They would have been like, yeah, revolution! We hate this guy! She fucking kills him. <laughs> it's like, oh, god damn. There's like some bitches that fall in. Yeah, they, they might have brushed it off. Yeah. They could be okay. We don't know. Some poor Wakandan fucking janitors down there having to, like, clean up these dead bodies. God damn it. Again, you Why guys. Why fuck have a panther cave, though? I think that's the one thing that gets me. It has nothing to do with, like, ritual or anything. It's it's just Shuri's lab, and it's the panther cave. Well, that's where they mine all the... Because there's a bad cave, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm looking at it, and, like, she's, they like... where mine all the vibranium. You might as well just have your lab there, that way you can have a constant supply, easy access. And so you can keep your eye on it. I thought that was just, like, a transport system. 
She but has like a her lab is built window. into that crater. Yeah. That crater is the mine. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like that, that whole when area the guy, is a mine. yeah, when the CIA guy wakes up, he like looks out the window, he can see the entire mine. Oh, okay, okay. So I was, I was wrong. That's like one thing I guess I didn't see. But like I, I, I there, there are a few things I don't really like about the movie. I guess um, one of the, one of the things is I think some of the the uh, side characters were a little meh. Like who? Um, I guess I really didn't like uh, the general. The one who betrayed everybody? No. No, the girl. The bald the one. I thought oh. she was okay. Yeah. I thought she was They're all bald. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, she was the general. Yeah. She had tattoos call. on her head, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm like, I, like, I really, like I said, I re- there really isn't much I don't like about this movie. I don't like how I they killed off Claude so early. Fucking <clears> love the <throat> Claude. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Oh, this, see, that's not Claude. <laughs> I, like, I thought I heard a D on the end of it, I'm sorry. No. Cool. I only saw... No, his name is stupid, don't I worry. only saw Avengers <laughs> 2 once, so I don't remember his name. I've yet to see that. Wasn't he in one of the Iron Mans, too? He was no. not. I thought he was in more than just the mm-hmm. second Avengers. He was in He was in Civil War as a... As a, as a okay. As yeah. a, like, he's still at large. I wanted... They tried to ask T'Challa who he was, and he's like, Fuck you guys, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I like the music in this. Like the music was just till the end credit scene. That was fine. But the music. You didn't like that Kendrick Lamar last time. That, that was just like they have all this like fucking I was hard beat rap music and or they tribal end music. A soft, soft note. Yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. end with that, and I was just like, oh my god. I thought that was terrible. just gonna be the one on the black screen, the song I was gonna be playing, all the stars. Well, but it like. All the stars would make sense because it's a credit scene that's like just like wrapping the whole thing up. I like how like Wakanda has had almost. its own language too and its own alphabet. I thought that was super interesting. I mean, it makes sense. I also like how T'Challa ended up becoming the king of Oakland by the end of the movie. Even though he only bought three buildings, Batman bought a whole bank. I mean, you might have bought more than that. Didn't he just say three buildings? That one. That yeah. one. That one. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he might have bought more. Mm-hmm. We just those are just the ones that not we know. gonna sit there and point out every building he bought to his sister. I bought that one too. That one over there. I haven't bought Disneyland. <laughs> bought Disneyland. I gonna the bulldoze Disney. that. <laughs> Make it Panther Wakanda Land. Wakanda Land. <laughs> I, so, I like so it how his sister's like. Mm, you told me you're gonna let me visit California, and I like. Thought you were gonna take me to Coachella. Yeah. Coachella. Like, Disney World. Do they have a sister in the comics? He does. Okay. Who she ends up becoming Black Panther because T'Challa doesn't feel he's worthy enough. Okay. So the one thing that got me about that end scene though is like it's the most stereotypical ghetto thing you can say. I bet if we, we take this apart, we can sell this. I'm like, all right. I mean, <laughs> well, there it's is like a space Bugatti. White people would say that too. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, yes, they would. And what are those reference? Fuck yeah, that. I hated that. That was dumb. That was well, I almost left. When his sister I, says, "What are those to his shoes?" To his like, oh, oh, I love God. the most. The, for the most part, I love the joke about Marvel. the sneakers. I love the joke of where he's just. Like, it wasn't a joke. <coughs> he was like, "You guys have hover hover bikes." Yeah. I like. I also <laughs> like the new Black Panther suit. How like Purple. the science of it is it absorbs kinetic energy and they can use it as like yeah, an that was outburst conduit. And I think that's super interesting to have. Is there an overload on that, or is it that you can tell there was because like there was parts where like especially with sliding with the car, his suit started t- to Whoa. like scrape off. Or like when the one girl was shooting him with her fucking gauntlets. The uh, kill whatever the fuck I killmonger. Kill. Essentially, I wanted to as- say kill joy, and I was like, kill, kill joy. A- a- essentially, <laughs> essentially vibranium. The vibranium panther suit can only take so much before it starts to disintegrate. And then, but it'll re repair itself. Yeah. It can only you can make a weak spot for it. I mean, he sent the suit flying. The suit isn't impenetrable. <clears throat> it just absorbs that yeah. kinetic energy. That's why. Like, because he still feels. Like, he was it, shot with the rocket yeah. launcher and he flew back. Right. Right. That flew kinetic sh- energy still hit him. Yeah. It's just the the suit absorbed any damage it yeah. caused. He'll still feel like oh that rush, and shit like that. I really also like that chase scene in Korea. I think that one was really cool. Especially when the running Ronnie like takes the claw to like move out of the way and I'm like, Oh, it's actually really interesting. Yeah. 
work, but yeah. I also, the, the one thing is the, the Lexus marketing on that was insane. I'm like, no, I'm done. No, I didn't even notice yeah. it. Same. Also, can we just talk about how predictable it was that Killmonger was going to kill that chick as soon as she got taken? Yeah. Like, he's not going to let her live. No, she, of course. She's like, done everything she could. Yeah. This oh, woman isn't going to push her. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, anyone who was like, oh, he's gonna let her be and be like, I'm a good kid. No. Oh, fuck. Have any of you played Watch Dogs, by the yeah. way? Yeah. No. He was just Iraq. That was who he was. Yeah, he was. The black guy from the, the head honcho gangster from fucking Watch Dogs. Yeah. That's just Iraq. <laughs> I like how he just walks in. Which is that guy's name for some reason. Like, my, my one thing is, he, he takes... I don't think he knew that that was an a Black Panther suit, that like the gold Panther suit that he ended up getting. He's just like, dude, that's a nice chain. I want it. No, I'm pretty sure he figured it yeah. out. Yeah, well, I mean, wait yeah. for the cu- wait for the um deleted scenes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's probably not wrong. They can't throw that in there. <clears throat> I also, like like I said, oh, though. By the way, we got some shit ass archaeologists at the British Museum. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? They definitely should have known it was a different metal. The fact that it was metal at all, and like... Well, it was rusted, I guess. So was it was dirty, because he just, like, blows the rust off of it. It's not rust. It's kind of rusty. But, like, I feel like they would have known it was vibranium, and not just, like, iron. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. Apparently they didn't. They're bad at their job. Just like in D.C., you got bad archaeologists, and they break open ancient relics and let out demon spirits. I really like, also, Martin Bilbo's character. Yeah. Everett K. Ross. I thought he was a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Um, I think it's really weird, though, for me, just to, just the fact that he speaks in a not-British accent. I don't know. His not-British accent, like, is, like, still jarring to me. It's weird. I don't. How? Yeah, I don't. I don't know, it's just, it's... Have I, you seen him in a bunch of stuff with his British accent, aside from The Hobbit? Yeah, he uses British accent in almost everything, besides Fargo. In well, Fargo, he used a North Dakotan accent. I'm like, mm, try something new. Not for that North either. North Dakotan accent. <laughs> North Dakotan accent. I actually really enjoyed, um... God, what is... There? I can't find the name of the guy who played uh, Michael B. Jordan's dad in the movie. But, like, I thought he was really enjoyable. He was there for, like, five minutes total. I know, but, like, I liked (laughs) his part in it. Fuck off. He was the guy that died, motivating his son to become a douche. (laughs) Such character development. Truly, he was the pinnacle of the movie. All right, fuck off, Gil. I like that character. I like the scene that he had (coughs) with him when he was at the fucking... When he was... When they were doing the fucking heart shape ritual, because I thought that was a really cool scene. Because, like, it was the reason why Killmonger wanted to go back to Wakanda. And I liked how that set up the ending where fucking Black Panther right. shows the half dead person up to the roof. And shows the sunset. I thought that was a really cool <laughs> yeah, thing. In the elevator with no guardrails. By the way, that's my favorite line of the movie. Well, we might be able to save you. And he's like, nah, I don't want to. Pulls it out and dies. <laughs> She's like, oh shit. Guess we couldn't have saved him. He lo- he's pretty dead. Yeah. It, I mean, king I... Body of the <laughs> I am the real king. Not cleaning that up. <laughs> I Janitor! Mean, gotta do it like Osama. No one can worship I this. honestly <laughs> really enjoyed this. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. I, I Like I said, I like I like the fight scenes. I love the choreography. I, th- I think everything about this movie is really, really good. Like, there's not a lot I can complain about. Plus... It's the director of Creed, and I really like that movie a lot. And, like, you could really tell that, like, what he learned from Creed with, like, fight choreography is that when you watch the fight, it's not as, like, chopped up. Especially when you looked at the tribal fight scene in the beginning. There's a lot of scenes where, like, they could have just, like, quick quick cut to them just, like, falling yeah. in the water and shit. But it was very fluid, and that was, that, like, super cool. That's why I really like the the fight they're having in, like, the fucking casino area, mm-hmm. I guess. is because it, it sort of, like, pans through the whole fight, since it's on, like, two different levels of the yeah. fighting. 
And so, I really like that, that it wasn't just, like, jump cut all over the fucking place. I also really like how, like, she gave no shits about stabbing the shit out of people when she jumps down. She's like, I'm gonna spear the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. And she's like, whoop. Yeah, I do like that they just openly kill people. <laughs> no. But, ten out of ten. They did not bleed, though. Yeah, no, there's not, like, blood everywhere and just, stuff. Just, like, cuts the throat, she's bleeding out, just falls to the ground, no blood. Well, you see, vibranium absorbs the body. Absorbs I was gonna say blood. Dust. They're just vampires. <laughs> They're so a bunch of blackulas. Blade. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. no. Vibranium. Oh, yeah. This is how we're gonna bring Blade back into Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah, he gets a vibranium fucking fang. No, he's just, like, he's like, oh... Vibranium vampires. I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> That's what Blade would do. Bring me all your vibranium. Give me vibranium swords. I really like, besides this though, this is like, and I think someone made that point is like, it, would, it, it wouldn't be the same movie if you didn't have like the blackness. And then I'm like, you're absolutely right, but like. It wouldn't be Black Panther. You know what I mean? Like, people are complaining that this movie is like. Racially charged? It's urban. Oh. I mean, it's a yes. very it it's but n- future not, it's future Afroism, I guess. But I guess. they put a good balance of like current black culture, I guess. It's <laughs> the most racist way I can think to say that, it's not and really the only racist. way I can think to say it, and then also just like traditional, like with all their customs and stuff. Right, and the thing that. It wasn't like Luke Cage where it's all up in your face, throwing the N word around in every sentence. I mean, it couldn't be. It's a Disney movie. I think that's a every nugget. other sentence is. Yeah, we're in Harlem. She's <laughs> like, oh, all right. They say they're in Wakanda a lot, though. They say Wakanda a lot in this movie. I mean, get the Wakanda counter. They're kind of hiding, though. It's a little different. Okay. Not like people are like, we can't let them know Harlem exists. <laughs> Technologically advanced area. <laughs> like, no. That's, no actually, not. That, that's actually a thing I wanted to bring up, because I've actually been recently, I've actually been watching Black Lightning. And Luke Cage. I was re-watching Luke Cage, too. Not because of this, but just in general. Like, in <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I really Whatever like, you say. I really like Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. And I was like... I also mm-hmm. watched all the Iron Man movies, but only the parts with War Machine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Don Cheadle or the guy before? Terrence Howard, both. Any of them. <laughs> all in preparation. That's the one, before I bring this quick change, the one thing that I got always never got about recasting him as Don Cheadle is that he's a much darker black man and they don't explain it at all like Terrence Howard like he's also smaller yeah and less and he doesn't have physically hair. built yeah so I'm assuming Tony tried to like test out the war machine once and he got burned like that's that's my head cannon he or, turned know, the just... heater and the suit on too much. <laughs> <laughs> or you know they just got a new actor. Yeah. No. no. So no, in, not in not general, possible. in general, like, but but comparatively watching these shows, like Black Lightning is like, it's not as in your face urban, but it's way more urban <laughs> than Luke Cage was. But they don't scream profanities. And then watching Black Panther, and I'm just like, Afro censor, Afro. Centerism is in this movie a lot, but it's more of it's proud to be African instead the of center of yeah. the Afro <laughs> Afrocentralism. But like I was yeah. reading articles that like there are people that were offended by about this movie. They're like, of course, I mean, just like there are people who were offended by fucking Iron Fist. <laughs> and it's just like He's man. Right. Well, not even that, but just, like, the very, very minimal small part of that show that was actually in Asia. It's too Asian? No, it was just like, it's not an accurate representation of China. It's like, I don't... They're in the sewers. Did someone say that? People complain about everything on Iron Fist, man. I mean, like, Iron Fist Except for the girl character. Everyone loved her. Which one? Misty Knight? No, not Misty Knight. Misty Knight's in Luke. Colleen Wing? Yeah. yeah. Because she actually trained. Like, fucking Danny Rand didn't train at all. No, 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 but that's not, that's another story. But, like, for this, I really, like, it. it is such a 
I think it is such an important movie for Marvel and in general. Okay, I'm gonna point this out. For for the African community, this is a really good movie because like I know people have made that point where like Blank Man was an all black cast and like things like that, but like those movies actually really didn't make a lot of money. Like this movie outsold pre sales of Spider Man Homecoming and like a lot of the newer Marvel movies. So like that just speaks volumes and like for me it's nice to see like a movie that has like that urban feel, but they're not like drug dealers, prisoners, or slaves. They brought those up quite a bit. Or though. gangsters, but you know what I mean. That wasn't the central part of that movie. Yeah, he did like. Gold. Also, I really he liked how they gold. kept the joking to a minimal. Yeah, so everyone, everyone except his claw. sister, but that was just her character. It well, was yeah. also claw where he pulled but, like, but I mean, he's a jokey. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he was singing. What is love? He is Boomer. also a crazy he's, he's man. He's just though. Captain Boomerang, so I'm fine yeah. with it. Yeah, that's true. With a fucking arm cannon that is terrifying. They took off. They disarmed him. Okay. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they did. They, Marvel does a lot of See? disarming of now, their characters. But where, like in Thor, they, they would have made him. a disarming joke, like in Thor Ragnarok. That would have been in there. You bet your ass. Right. Yeah, it would have been for sure. Black Panther? No, they just let that one slide. There's like, like, we don't need a disarming been... joke. It's too obvious and retarded. It would have been disarming to have that but, disarming joke. <laughs> but they made him pull a piece of metal, a hard metal, out of his pants. That yeah. joke isn't too obvious? Well, that's funny. Not though. really, because it... you didn't know he was keeping it there until he did it. And yeah. it makes sense, because he, like, cause he sees the nice, like, and then he makes the quip of, like, I didn't have an, I didn't want to pay more money for a nice... Like a nice I said, like, case. the people who are funny in that movie, it, it's just their character. It's not like where it's, like, Thor, who is just like, Yeah, I'm funny now. Fuck it. <laughs> I can make mm, quips. To be fair, he was all... He, comedy. In the earlier ones, when he was by himself, he was more of a jovial character anyway. In the comics or in the first movie? A little bit of both. The Mega the, Man cannons the that she had, like, though, different. were, like, really obnoxious. Like, when they were doing the panther technology at the end, like, sure, he had, like, panther gauntlets. I'm like, all right, you could have just made them, like, just look like sound cannons instead of, like, panther gauntlets. Yeah, well, they were for the Black Panther's arsenal. No, that was hers. That was just no, her own personal No, she used them, but no. they were originally for his arsenal. No, that, that was just her. She was just doing it for kicks and giggles. Crap. She was, that was not his at all. Probably would have given him to him at any point he needed him. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was also going to point Just out the whole War. EMP thing he threw on the cars at the beginning. I, I feel like that would not work. I it's Wakandan technology. It has to fucking deal with future technology, Eli. But for some reason it has to hit the metal of the hood. I mean, it doesn't. I think it was a magnetic thing that, like, maybe mag it just tracks towards the engine. Oh. Magnets, how do they work? <laughs> I, I think that, dumb. like, I think it, like, fought, probably was attracted to the battery source and it, like, out charged the battery. I don't know. It's Wakandan technology. They're Mega Man gauntlets, all right? Okay. Okay. They have hover bikes. I so. still really love that joke about the sneakers. God damn it. I call them sneakers. Get it? You get it? Too bad it had to be followed by... No, See, too bad it, it had to be Princess. Again, though, that's like... That's just jokes. his sister's character. That's pretty... She's just not a... She's a jokey individual. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's a teenager. In the beginning. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's a teenager, so, so just, like... Well, yeah, but it's just like... Yeah. Jokes. It's like jokes are made about T'Challa, where it's like, yeah, he froze up, <laughs> but he does not make those jokes, so it's okay. Well, I mean, did. he froze up more than once. Well, yeah, I know. You did? <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, that's another thing. God damn um, it. I, I really that. liked how they, like, didn't... Okay, so the character that was the gorilla, the gorilla tribe... Harambe tribe. Shut up. I kept thinking of that stupid-ass gorilla from fucking DC. Gorilla Grodd? Yeah, and they have Gorilla City. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is just Gorilla City. Right. But the fun fact about this is that, like, they his original name was Manape. So, like, they wanted to, like, not call him Mane because, you know, he's black. It really did. Like, all the tribal parts were really just reminding me of Far Cry Primal. Yeah. But, like, the thing, I like the way they incorporated it, because, like, it wasn't, like, 
the character itself was just a character, and he wasn't. He was just yeah. like in the in the comics, he didn't have a tribe. He was just like part of Wakanda. He's like fuck Black Panther. This is gonna be the year of the gorilla or whatever. This one, he's it's an actual fifth tribe that does shit. And you put that back, by the way. My phone? No, All the right. fucking Pokedex you took from me. I didn't take anything. I just grabbed it. You Believe that's my Pokedex. The Pokedex. The Rochambeau's Pokedex. Yeah, but what was up with that? That really seemed like an unnecessary bit. They were exiled because they didn't want to join us. They'll they eventually come back into the story. We'll make it seem like they're going to be the antagonist, but they're just honestly just there. Not really doing much. Well, I mean, they weren't ever technically exiled. They left on their own. Eh, true. They, they were like, nah, dude, I don't want this shit. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, despite the fact that their technology and everything looks pretty similar... Except that they use retarded rope bridges for some reason. And wood. Wood. Yeah. Wood be The humanity. What kind of technology? Where the oh fuck God, they found wood. the wood to make it? I have no idea. They're on top of mountains. <laughs> they probably came down and chopped down on the trees. The wood had vibranium in it. I don't fucking know. Apparently vibranium messes with the fucking animals, uh, yeah, too. Yeah, I guess we go. Did you guys say that? That rhino was a puppy. Yeah, that rhino was a puppy. And I like how, a like... charging, killing puppy. I mean, uh, you can do that with cows, kind of. I don't think they would stop on that sort of dime if they were, like, charging toward you. So let's round it up and just put our final thoughts and give it a 1 out of 10 rating. Um, I'll go first, I guess. I, I like I said, I like, I like Kendrick Lamar's um, soundtrack. You know, I like, like, three songs from it. <laughs> The well, he composed, he composed the soundtrack, like, the soundtrack of the movie. Yeah, I know that. Like, the entire But they only field. played, like, three of them. No, what the I mean is, thing. like, the background music was all his. Oh, I didn't like, know that. Like, he did the entire score. Like, Kendrick Lamar did the score and everything like that. So, I like that. And they played more than that. They just played snippets of each song. They didn't play, like, an entire song. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, and I enjoyed... I enjoyed, I like the costumes, I like, I like the way the science works, because it makes, a lot of it makes more sense than a lot of other Marvel science, like pin particles. <clears throat> yeah, but that's because they can kind of hide behind just like, vibranium being a metal that doesn't exist, therefore it can do things I, that I they really, say it can yeah, do. I really like the villain, I think the villain has like, reasonable motives for the most part, comparatively to all the other Marvel villains that are like, eh, I'm just evil. I mean, Baron Zemo had a pretty good one, too. Yeah, really it was Zemo. basically the same as Baron Zemo. Yeah. yeah. It was black, he was black Baron Zemo. <laughs> yeah. But kind like, of different. Baron yeah, Zemo more or less just wanted the Avengers to uh, go ahead and fuck off. <laughs> because they killed his family. <laughs> yeah. He kind of wanted whereas, the actual whereas black Whereas, technically to fuck speaking, off, so. well, yes and no, technically speaking, like, Killmonger is like, Wanted everybody to fuck on because his yeah. family died. Yeah. yeah, like the thing, it's a combination of T'Challa's dad killed his dad, but it was also a combination of, man, Wakanda puts all these, like, spies in African, in, in like, black they cultures. They have the ability to help everybody yeah, and in the world. Don't do but they don't. shit. <laughs> so he's like, nah, fuck you guys. Fuck off. I still really like the part where it's just like, yeah, I found him with, uh, you know, like, panther claw marks in his chest, and it's like, oh, you didn't even try to cover up the fact that you killed him. Like, for trying to hide from everybody, who, whatever cops or whoever the fuck has to show up and look at that body is gonna be like, what the fuck? Did oh, you, oh, you got stabbed five times. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but they're, like, only, like, an inch deep. That's how I was like, I don't know how he died from that, I'll be honest. Like, he that didn't quick. stick his fingers that fast in and that I was like, in. the claws, even if they're like three inches in, yeah, that, that could kill you, but I, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be this douche again about how Black Panther's claws work. Technically, the retractability goes from three to six inches. All right. It's yeah. so like, he does multiples. It like, okay, so like. No, I, I get what you're saying, but it's still just, just it, dumb. It, it can go deeper. Just a dumb old time. It right, can so always go deeper. I give it a 9 out of 10. And also for being able to, like, like they do all these martial arts and can disarm and, like, shit. He was just like, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill my brother. <laughs> I could just rip his gun away and just beat him senseless because, you know, I'm the Black Panther. But nah, I think I'll just kill him and 
leave his body for his kid to find. And <laughs> okay, I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I also give it a 9 out of 10. Like an 8.7, actually. I thought the villain was underutilized. And Claw? Uh, Claw and... and Killmonger. The, and Killmonger, yeah. The Gold Panther. I love gold. I okay. I mean, that's... That's what I got. I like eight. pretty much everything about it. Eight. You guys have already listened to everything, right? Yeah, but... Well, I mean, just re-list it as your reasons. Yeah. You guys already said everything. Did you even watch the movie? I did watch the movie. <laughs> you suck at this, Zach. I know. <laughs> Kill. I don't go to movies for reviews. <laughs> eh. It's a decent movie. I won't say it's the scenes. best movie ever. It's a good. It's a good movie. I did enjoy the Most action scenes. Uh, the villain was pretty good. So. Yeah, they had a very strong build. And had, he had you know, the strong motivations too. Yeah. But um, mostly, he, I compare it to other superhero movies. Yeah, he was other. He was, the villain was underutilized, and they yeah. could have done so much more with the movie. But that's true of any movie. I, I gave you my reasons after the spotlight was on me. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there are some issues. I just don't feel like thinking about them right now. <laughs> He'll get back the to lack us of guardrails. Hmm? Some lack of guardrails. Mm -hmm. Well, that. That's just the safety how they're all like, we gotta save Wakanda, but we're also okay with killing our own people. How vibranium gives them the ability to do holograms of like monumental size, since it's their <laughs> entire country. Yeah. <laughs> and heal people's spinal cords. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's vibration Future technology. Eight point seven. <laughs> Vibrations, brother. So what do you what do you give it? What do you, what do you rate it? Seven point five. Seven point five. Okay. So I'm the one who I rated it. Eight point seven. Blackest movie of twenty eighteen. <laughs> then they just came out in the February movie. too. Oh then my they just god. Out yeah. with nice. Movie <laughs> just black. Okay. Don't forget the license card share. Thanks, guys. <laughs>